to go up in flames overnight. Fire crews responded to Asagio on Ulunio Street around 1.45 this morning and discovered smoke coming from a ventilation duct. No one was inside at the time and crews were able to put the fire out in less than two hours. As KITV 4 Shanila Kabir reports, the restaurant is now left picking up the pieces with the hope of reopening next month. Asagio and Kailua went up in flames early Monday morning. HFT sent out 22 firefighters and fully extinguished the blaze at 3.23 a.m. A restaurant manager says the fire was mostly contained in the kitchen and the dining area is not damaged. In shock still, you know, uh, this restaurant's been here for 30 years, so uh, I know it means a lot of things to a lot of people. Nakamura said he knows the fire wasn't caused by any kitchen appliances. Employees turned all appliances off, and he said he did a run-through of the restaurant that night before closing. And this happens to be National Fire Prevention Week. Officials are urging people to take extra steps to make sure everything is turned off, especially in the kitchen. Home fires are the most common. Make sure your candles are blown out and your smoke alarms are working. I'm, I'm so sad. I, I have a yoga studio across the street, and I've been going to Asagio for a really long time. And they're such a beautiful part of the community, so this is really, really a, a tough day me realize how important fire safety is and I just really want to make sure that everyone's always kept safe um, and I, I'm going to be checking the, the fire extinguishers for sure. To find a list on how to keep you and your family safe from possible fires, go to KITV.com slash links. Shanila Kabir, KITV4 Island News. And over on the Big Island fire crews are trying to determine what sparked an early morning fire that damaged a building in Pahoa. Fire crews responded to the scene on Ohia Avenue near No Oio Street around 2 o'clock this morning and found the second floor of a two-story structure engulfed in flames. The fire department says no one was inside at the time. Damages estimated at $200,000. As we mentioned earlier, this is Fire Prevention Week across the state. Here are a few recommendations from the Honolulu Fire Department when it comes to kitchen safety. Stay in the kitchen while you're cooking. If you leave the kitchen, turn off the stove, keep a lid nearby to smother small grease fires, smother the fire by sliding the lid over the pan and turning the stove off. For an oven fire, turn off the heat and keep the door closed. 